before you came on, I don't know if you heard us talk, but we are at the Center for Discovery, which is uh, this Institute for Autistic uh, People. And uh, we played here last year also. And, that, and the, that's where we, where we again saw that we don't need to know what mantras are and what they do to, for them to have mm -hmm. a profound effect. Because most probably the, the residents here, they didn't have any background on mantras or right. why they should be feeling good when they hear it, hear it or what right. they're for. Or, or often, you know, we've had people right. with animal stories, you know, where it definitely doesn't go via the, the mind or understanding or right. belief or, you know, concepts. It's really a direct experience and um, right. animals are suddenly becoming quiet or they actually come in the room and they hear the music or they leave the room if they hear the music. Or, you know, like it's, right. it's, uh, it's very, that's what I always love when it's so direct and so, yeah, it's uh, so obvious. Yeah, it's, that's, you know, that's what I've learned from my own experience. People have told me a lot of things in life, but when I, taste it for myself, I have the answer uh, that I need. Um, this is the part of the dilemma of the fast world is that we become reliant on the experts often, and we're apt to follow them down blind alleys if we're not able to use our discrimination. Mm -hmm. And how then does one really have the faith in their own ability other than to... Uh, practice and to uh, learn from their own experience in terms of the results that they get for themselves. Mm -hmm.